Hi, this is Rudy Martin for Uncommon Wisdom Daily. My Emerging Market Winner subscribers know that one of my favorite long-term plays is the Brazilian sugar and energy distribution company, Cozen. I still think its long-term outlook is good as it executes on its core strategy with a couple of solid transactions, but these may not be enough to lift the stock. First, it's strengthening its energy distribution operations. Cosan decided to buy a 60% stake in Comgas for $1.8 billion. Comgas is the largest distributor of natural gas in Brazil with a market share of 30%. It serves nearly 800,000 customers in the state of Sao Paulo, and that number could go much higher in the future. The deal will immediately pump at least half a billion dollars into Cosan's cash flow stream, and it's likely to expand the company's margins over the long term. Second, it's creating an exit strategy for its retail food business. Cosan is shifting the ownership of its retail sugar and foods operation, Docelar Alimentos, to Camil Alimentos. The deal gives Cosan a nearly 12% interest in Camil and creates a Latin American leader in the sugar, rice, and canned fish markets. These two transactions allow Cozen to refocus on its core energy business and create some financial flexibility longer term. But the core sugar and sugarcane-based ethanol business is suffering from falling prices. Sugar for July delivery recently fell to a 20-month low and the near-term outlook is increasingly bearish. There's already an estimated surplus of about 4 million tons of sugar, and that number will only grow as Brazil ramps up production. At the same time, China, the world's biggest buyer, is importing a greater percentage of its sugar from Thailand and India. This is obviously bad news for Brazilian sugar producers like Cozan. Normally, Cozan would deal with this problem by shifting more production to ethanol, but fixed gasoline price caps and the big oil boom in Brazil are making ethanol production less attractive. Meanwhile, oil prices continue to slide. The front month crude contract recently plunged well below $88 a barrel. This is great for consumers, but for producers, not so much. Overall, I still think the long-term demand is there, but at least for the next couple of years, it looks like Brazilian ethanol and sugar producers like Cozan could be in for a tough time. I'm Rudy Martin for Uncommon Wisdom Daily. Thanks for watching.